Hi, what's up everyone, this is Gamer Gadgets, so guys I am back with another video about the best gaming headsets without mic that you can buy on Amazon. If you want more interesting videos do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. This list is based on my personal opinion and research and lists them based on quality features and pricing. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description below. Headphones with a microphone are not required for gaming. Best gaming headphones without mic not everyone requires conversation. Many gamers are single players, content to trudge through an adventure with the help of an NPC or two. Or you could be on a multiplayer platform but are the strong, silent type who can't be bothered with audio chat. We do not pass judgment. But let's get back to the games that don't require a microphone. Is it possible to use regular headphones for gaming? In this guide, we'll look at the best headphones for gaming without a microphone so you can make your own decision. I have prepared this video guide for the best gaming headsets without mic. So let's get started. At number 3 is Philips Audio Fidelio. The Philips Fidelio X2HR is high-res audio certified, meaning they can handle some very high-quality audio formats. But we digress. Gaming audio is typically not of audiophile quality. However, headphones that can accurately reflect their design soundstage are A+, and the X2HR excels in this regard. Because the X2HR is open back, it already has a natural, airy soundstage. When you plug in your game, you'll notice that your ears are picking up on subtle sounds from your game that you've never heard before. The audio is directional and precise. Footsteps squeaking on floorboards, rushing water from a stream separation in great detail. That is exactly what the X2HR does. Surprisingly powerful and tight bass. The troubles are crisp and clean. The music and sounds produced by the X2HR are warm and lively, with excellent balance. What's more, the impedance is only 30 ohms, allowing your PS4 to drive them at high volume. You'll be able to hear their true potential if you run them through a good sound card or amp, though this isn't required to get good audio. At number 2 is Sennheiser RS 175 RF. When looking for wireless gaming headphones or headsets, keep an eye out for the terms RF wireless. This usually means that the headphones come with a dedicated transmitter, which ensures that your wireless headphones have no lag. This translates to audio and video that are properly synced when you're out tracking hostels on a dark, rainy evening, in-game. Some wireless headphones use a USB dongle to connect. The Sennheiser RS175, on the other hand, the RS175 includes a dedicated standing transmitter that also functions as a charging stand for the headphones. The transmitter is then connected to an audio source via a digital optical cable or 3.5mm analog plug. It's simple to switch between the two, just press the button. The majority of the primary controls are located on the headphone, making it very simple to use. Power, volume, surround sound, and bass mode are all options. Surround sound is available in high or low, and bass mode increases the bass response. Alternatively, you could simply listen to everything in stereo. Now moving to the last one is Audio Technica ATH-M40X. If the ATH-AD series has an open back, the ATH-M series has a closed back. With a 35 ohm impedance and a frequency response of 15 Hz to 24 kHz, the Audio Technica ATH-M40X falls in the middle of this range of headphones. Its siblings can reach frequencies of up to 40 kHz. Because the ATH-M40X is a professional studio monitor headphone, the audio output is flat. That doesn't mean it has a flat sound, it simply means it will output sounds exactly as the audio source was designed to sound. Which is great for gaming and watching movies. There are a lot of sounds in games, ranging from voices to effects to music. The ATH-40mm M40X's drivers handle these very well, providing clean, neutral audio with separation and a decent soundstage. Acoustic instruments sound exceptionally clear on these, and there is even some sub-bass present, albeit in a low-key manner. If you want the sub-bass to be more prominent, you can boost it with an EQ. So guys this was the video about the best gaming headsets without mic. All the links are given in the description, do check them out. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button, tell us in the comment section about which one you like the most and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you.